This quick guide video provides an overview of how to analyse a CVENT recording. Here is an example of a real life CVENT recording. In this example we begin to stimulate the left ear at 100 dB NHL. Notice that within very few sweeps we are able to obtain a large CVENT response which is distinguishable from the background noise. In clinical situations, we typically stop when a clear response has been recorded. It is always recommended to repeat the CVEMP to ensure repeatability. For superior semicircular canal dehiscence testing, the vent threshold must be detected. A normal functioning saccule typically displays a threshold of around about 80 dB NHL. After the test has been completed in the left ear, we continue and stimulate the right ear. We repeat the waveforms on the right ear just as we did on the left ear. Now it's time to mark the waveforms. When using a tone burst in a healthy individual with an intact vestibular system, the P1 will occur at around 14.5 milliseconds. The latency of the N1 can be quite variable, but is often found 10 milliseconds after the peak of P1. It is important to mark both the left and the right waveforms. Waveforms can be marked from the record sheet or the edit sheet. From the edit sheet, ensure you have the waveform which you wish to be marked selected. Next, select the waveform marker you wish to plot and then move the mouse over the selected waveform. A left click on the mouse marks the waveform. Lastly, the waveform should be paired together. With one waveform selected, right click the waveform handle of the opposite ear and select Set as Vent Partner. These selected waveforms will then be used in the asymmetry calculation. As the CVEMP requires the muscle to be contracted, it is recommended to apply EMG scaling. This method takes into consideration the average EMG values recorded throughout the collection. By doing so, this makes individual recordings comparable, even if slightly different degrees of muscle tone have been applied during the different recordings. EMG scaling can be applied by right-clicking the waveform and selecting EMG scaling. This concludes this quick guide video on analyzing the CVEMP response.